Yo, what up guys, this is your boy Legendary here today, people. I'm going to be doing a tutorial video, uh, kind of showing you guys how I do my thumbnails. Uh, my friend Demetrius Schulter, I forgot how to say his last name, but his name is Demetrius. He wanted to know how I make my thumbnails. I couldn't really explain it in words because it's a lot. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. So I was like, you know what, I'll do a tutorial video so that way people can know how I make my thumbnails and maybe it'll help you guys make some cool thumbnails too. So yeah, so you can see this is the my one that you guys just recently saw. Uh, so, and you know, this is the Jaden one right here. Uh, I just started a new folder. Like, this is all my different stuff. This is like, uh, when I made my Rush Duel format, the Ice Barrier stuff, you know, impressions, all that stuff. So I'm gonna start a new folder. This is gonna be an example. So you go right here, you go in this area, click on that corner piece right there, and click on New Group. That's gonna start a new uh, folder right here. You could rename that group. I'm gonna call this Jaden. Jaden thumbnail. Jaden. Doesn't matter. Jaden deck, Jaden thumbnail. Doesn't really matter. So we're going to put in a background first. So pick whatever background you want. First of all, before I even do that, there's these borders, right? Right here. This, this white border. That's important because when you put the thumbnail into the video on YouTube, it will cut off this area right here. The white, the white area. That's why I only focus on this middle area. This the rest of this area up here doesn't matter. It'll cut that off, so it won't really matter. So just leave that white border there. Make sure it's the first layer on the very top. And then that way everything in in this area only is going to show when you go into the thumbnail. That's very important because then it's you'll, you'll have the right size and everything. All right, so for Jaden, I'll show you guys an example. I'm going to put in the background first. All right, so I'm going to put in fusion background, the traditional. Okay, that one's really messed up, so I'm going to take this one. So I take the fusion background, I stretch it out, make it fit like that or whatever. Right there, okay, good. So that's the fusion background. Now I'm gonna put Jaden in. You make sure you put that in the Jaden folder. And then on top of that, let's look for Jaden Yuki. So I have a bunch of Jaden Yuki pictures over here. So let me just pick one out. This is a render of him already. So let's move this over here. Okay, a little bit more over here. And then we're gonna put the monsters. So over here, you can start a new folder, a new lay, yeah, yeah, new folder, new group. Inside, inside of that folder, you put another folder, you call it monsters. Okay, you call it monsters. And then, you start putting in some monsters. Let's, let's look for Neos. Uh, we got Grand Mole here. We got uh, Dark Panther, let's put in Dark Panther. Let's put Dark Panther right there. Okay, good. Then let's put Neos right behind him somewhere. So there's a couple Neo shots there. I wanna pick the new artwork. All right, so here we go. This is the new artwork for Elemental Hero Neos. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and I might move this a little bit more over right here. Yeah, so we're gonna add some other Elemental Heroes up in there. Let's add Avion. This is an Avion render. Good. Let's add Avion right over here. All right. Underneath Black Panther. So that way he's in front. And then I'm going to put one more monster over here. Let's see. Yeah, we'll put Grand Mole for now. Uh, I'm going to remove this logo. Oh, wait. Is there a logo there? No, there isn't. I thought there was. So I'm going to put Grand Mole there. All good. All right, so that's uh, it's already a decent thumbnail. It's, I'm just putting random heroes for now, just so you guys get the idea of how to do this. And then what I do is I take the monsters and I move them inside the monsters folder. So now they're all in one folder. You view them in, view them out, just like that. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to layer. I'm gonna go to layer style. I'm gonna go to outer glow. This is how I do the outer glow. For my pictures so so you can make it a little bit i want to make it a little bit yellow yellow orangey maybe oh yeah something like that like that this is how you increase the size like that this is to like spread it decide how you want it the opacity of it how, how visible you want it to be stuff like that you just play around with it and uh you do different things like that 
uh, just play around with this whole feature but it's really fun just doing the outer glow I usually use that a lot so that's the outer glow for that you do the same thing for Jaden outer glow voila there you go you see that's already part of the thumbnail and then I usually just uh, copy my uh, my no pun intended because I'm copying my <laughs> uh, I'm gonna copy the fonts that I usually use for that I'm copy it over here on top of the Jaden one so there's there then you put like Jaden Yuki deck the font I use for this one is impact use whatever you want I'm horrible when it comes to fonts honestly very horrible when it comes to finding cool fonts I, I look at thumbnails from other like more popular you you not just Yugi tubers but but other youtubers in general and I don't know where they find those fonts I've looked on Google everywhere and I can't find those cool fonts anywhere so I don't know if they custom make it themselves I, I'm not very good at making fonts uh, so I use this it's a pretty uh, st uh, no, I wouldn't say standard font but this is just the one that I use use whatever you want be creative with the fonts but I just wanted to really show you how to make the backgrounds how to make the thumbnail itself with the pictures and all that stuff that's that's pretty much how I do it's very very simple honestly it's uh you just put it all together like that and then it's all in one folder and uh, yeah um, what else yeah I think that's it I <laughs> there's really not much to it uh, if you want to make like the monsters kind of like fade out a little bit you go uh, to opacity and it kind of makes it so they look like uh, kind of like spirits like you could see it right through them you could do that if you want um, oh let me show you how to do drop shadows so I'm gonna unview this and then I'm gonna show you how to do a drop shadow all right so right here you do the drop shadows you kind of mess around with it this is just you see how it's thicker the outline you could change the distance of it uh, let's say right here this is like moving it closer or farther away like that see that you can change the size of it you can make it a lot thicker that looks really bad put it a lot thinner than that uh, this is to spread it I don't know what that means um, I think this is to like make it I guess thicker maybe I'm not really sure but yeah this is to change the angle the direction that the shadows coming from so you do it like that let's say you want it say this looks pretty nice right there then you do that okay so this controls like how thick the outlining is if you put it all the way down here it's a little bit more blurry you do the opacity it kind of makes it a little bit more uh, tr transparent now it looks more like a shadow actually and it's not as thick so you just play around with the dimensions until you get the way that you like it uh, the way that you want it but yeah that's basically how you do a drop shadow uh, more or less let me just make that a little darker because you can barely see it no that's the opacity not bad. so yeah uh yeah but that's pretty much it that's how you do the uh drop shadow for everything and uh, i already showed you how to do the font and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> I, it's very simple i'm glad it was simple straight to the point it's not as long as my Yu-Gi-Oh card te template, that's for sure. But yeah, all you have to do is basically go on Google and look up, uh, let's say, uh, Elemental Hero. I'll put Neos though. Neos render, that means, uh, you, it usually means without a background, it's just the image by itself. You could already see the one that I used here. You take the image, you save it in a folder on your computer somewhere, then you put it on there. Make sure you find renders of the different monsters you want to use. If you can't find different renders of the monsters you want to use, you could take this right here and kind of, let me show you guys. Take this. If you want, save it on your computer, that image somewhere of Honest Neos right there. Okay, you just took it. And let's say you drag it on there. Okay. Do that. Bring that in. Now what you do is to kind of take the background out. There's probably a much easier way to do it, but I do it the really hard long way because that's the only way I know how to do it. Uh, you take the eraser tool right here. This is the eraser tool. Uh, make sure it's hard, not soft. And then you go go here and you start like taking the background out as you can see there oh no way actually this is not taking the background out I'm in the brush tool oops so yeah I'll just do this so you see I'm taking the background out so it's showing whatever's in the background currently right now you do that uh -huh. 
there's there's definitely an easier way to do it i've seen other people who do photoshop would do it easier i just don't know how to do it that way uh there i think you could use the masking tool or the feather tool or something like that but i'm not a professional photoshop user i only know how to do it this way and this is the hard way and uh, that's the only way i know how unfortunately so uh i'm just showing you how i do it so yeah well, just be very careful just you know crop it out like that for example you take out the wings and then you know once you're done completely erasing every other thing around the background then you know you minimize it and stuff like that i'm not going to render the whole thing right now in front of you because uh you get the idea you get the idea i'm just here to show you how how i do it if i can't find uh one of these monsters without the background you know completely rendered you can also look up on google elemental hero neos uh render uh transparent that's a transparent background i think that also works so yeah you got neos there um Neos, there's already an honest Neos that's already rendered. Brave Neos, so yeah. Just look up transparent background or just look up render itself. Sometimes it'll come out as a white background. You could just um, also take the eraser tool here, click on magic eraser tool, and then you could just like erase some of the background. It's a little bit more messy this way. If it's just a white background, then it won't be messy because it'll just it remove the white parts of it only, which is which is good but uh, this makes it a little bit more messy it's not as uh, precise uh, I think you could adjust the settings to make it a little bit more precise but uh, yeah that's pretty much it I'm just gonna delete this all right well that's pretty much it make sure you save it as a Photoshop file in whatever folder that you want and that's pretty much it very straightforward that's how I make my thumbnails you just find the images that you need of the characters you need, the monsters you need. You pick a background. You put the background first. You put the, the characters on top. Um, and then you pick whatever font. You type whatever you want the font to say. And that's it. That's how I make my thumbnails, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial on how to make thumbnails. God bless you guys. See you guys in the next video. Gotcha. Also, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, I, I said save it as a PSD. That's to save like the entire thing is a psd file but in order to add it into the thumbnail on youtube it needs to be i think a png file uh so because that's what i do so you save as let's say for example it's gonna open up then just say like my my thumbnail right let's say for example like that then you go to format you go to png and then you save it as the png and that's good and then make sure that after you're done uh, doing your stuff you save it you just make sure you save your work and that's it so that way everything you did get saved if you want to go back to it and fix something it's already saved um, and that's pretty much it um, make sure that the original file is always a Photoshop file a dot PSD file uh, but once you're done editing everything then you save it as a separate file as a PNG it's very important because if you screw that up uh, you might you know lose your you might lose your original file and then I uh, won't be able to do that, but you could always re-download it again from my, from my video, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Real quick, I forgot to mention it. In the link in the description, there'll be a Google Drive thing where you could download uh, this specific format. So that way you don't have to like try to make it yourself, you know, with the whole borders and everything. I already showed you how to make the folders and stuff, but it's going to be in the link in the description for you to download. It's all for free, so don't worry.